Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Makeover Monday. So we are going to be making some low carb salmon patties. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, you love fun, and you love low carb recipes. But most importantly, you love helping out a good cause. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description for the details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. All right, I'm excited. I love salmon patties or tuna patties. So if you have tuna instead of salmon, you can use that. I love both of those. So that's what we are making today. I'm going to get started with a half of an onion. I have a half of a red onion here that I'm just going to start to grate up. So if you don't have red onion, you have yellow onion, sweet onion, white onion. <laughs> Whatever kind of onion you have will work. So we need just about three to four tablespoons. So if it's a little more, a little less, it's okay. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to pull these big chunks out. We'll save those for the compost. All right, and then I have one clove of garlic. I'm just going to throw in my garlic press. And then I've got a cup and a quarter of pork rinds that I put in the blender. So basically, I just made some breadcrumbs out of them. You could also try to use some almond flour, coconut flour. I feel like the pork rinds works the best, though. All right, so next we need some salmon. So I'm going to show you how our can opener works. And look at this. The label's on upside down. <laughs> So this is a 14.75, so 14 and three quarter ounce can of salmon. So what I really want to show you though is the can opener because this can opener unseals the can. No sharp edges, so it's great if you have kids or dogs that dig in the trash. Or me, I'm pretty clumsy sometimes. <laughs> but look, no sharp edge whatsoever. And then I've got my can strainer here, so I'm just going to tip this over. We're going to drain our salmon. And then I'm going to toss my salmon in there. All right. Then we're going to add one egg and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Just however much you think. <laughs> I like Parmesan cheese. We'll put a lot in there. All right. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. All right. So I am going to mix this together. Oh, one thing I forgot is a teaspoon of lemon pepper. So this is my Pampered Chef seasoning. You can use whatever lemon pepper you have on hand. I do think ours tastes better though. <laughs> but sometimes I'm out and I'll use a different brand. All right, so I'm just going to mix this all together. All right, that looks pretty good, except for I forgot to add one more thing, and that is some fresh chopped parsley. If you don't have it you can just leave it out if you have dried parsley that's fine too i like the color i think more than anything <laughs> once i got all that mixed together i can go ahead and start forming my patties so i'm going to use my pampered chef hamburger press to do this and i love this because it makes big burgers and it also makes little sliders as well so that's the part that i'm using today so we're just going to put it all right in the center and i'm going to use this to push it down and then pull this part back out Grab my little cutting board here. There we go. Look at that. Perfect little salmon patty. All right, so I'm going to finish pattying up the rest of these. All right, last patty. So this should be enough to make about six of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes so they can kind of firm up a little bit. And while they're in the fridge, I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to get out my skillet and heat up a little bit of olive oil. All right, I got my oil nice and hot over medium high heat. And I got my salmon patties out of the fridge. So we're just going to place them in here. I'm going to do these three at a time to make sure they have plenty of room. And then we're going to let these cook for about three to four minutes on each side. All right, so these should be just about ready to flip over. Now you want to make sure that you have a nice sear. If it starts to fall apart, let it cook just a little bit longer. Make sure you have that sear on the bottom. So they should look nice and golden brown just like that when you flip them. So another three to four minutes on this side. And I think these are just about done. So I'm going to transfer them onto a plate that I've lined with a couple of paper towels. I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil, not too much. Let that heat for just a second. And then we'll go ahead and add our last three patties. I 
just flipped the last three, so those are finishing up. I'm going to turn my heat off, push this out of the way, and the other ones should have cooled just enough that I can go ahead and taste one. <laughs> and I also made an avocado lime creamy dressing, cream sauce. I don't know what you call it. It's basically guacamole that <laughs> I've thinned out with a little bit of sour cream. You can use yogurt, you can use whatever you've got that's low carb, heavy whipping cream. So let's give these a try. You know, sometimes I'm glad I'm the only person in my house that really likes fish. Those are delicious. I really love the lemon and the pepper that's in there. And you know, if you don't like lemon pepper, you can always do like an Italian seasoning. You can do all kinds of seasonings in here, but I really do like the lemon pepper. So give those a try, especially if you're doing a low carb diet. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.